Hey, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Well, today is about my advent calendar for this year that I'm doing, my yarn advent calendar. First of all, spoiler alert, it is the advent calendar from My Yarny Corner in the UK. Now, today is the 2nd of December, but I'm in Australia. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and haven't opened day two yet, you might want to look away although I will probably just be showing you my progress on day one so my yarny corner advent I purchased it arrived in plenty of time in this little box so I've had it a while waiting and it's all laid out numbered in little little bags like that there's no note or card to share with you but I'm about to share the yarn with you so I take out day one, where's the packet, open it and then I hand it to Thing who either winds it into one ball or two balls depending on what I want for my project and he gets to keep the little lolly that's inside, he can eat that while he's winding the yarn for me. So originally I started planning my yarn advent project early November. I emailed and asked different podcasters and experienced knitters some questions and I had it all ready to go and then I opened day one and thought no that's not going to work for me and I changed my mind and I had to decide and go looking for another pattern so the pattern I chose I had bought earlier in the year I, it's a Stephen West pattern and I got 35% off in his birthday sale I bought it with the plan in mind of making it my 100 day project in 2024. But I've decided it will suit this yarn and my idea of what I plan to do. So here it is. It is the Rain or Shine Blanket by Stephen West. Now the reason I like this is because it's actually DK weight, but you achieve DK weight by holding two fingering yarns together. Use a 4.5 millimeter knitting needle. I am using my 4.5 millimeter chai goose. I did the swatch and I'm happy with it and I've continued on. So my plan is to add, I started with the swatch. I'll just fold it over. There. There are old, um, well, yarns from last year that were left over from an advent or minis. You will see my little flower tree over there that's got leftover advent yarn and minis. And I plan to keep putting them in this blanket till I, I've reached the size I want or the colours I want. Now day one, ta-da, spoiler, is this one. It's like a yellow, whitey, or creamy yellow, darker yellow with some dark flecks in it. Now I say spoiler alert, but you're mini could look different to mine. The reason I say that is I watched um, Amanda from Mouse's Makes and when she showed her mini hers had quite a big section of dark yarn whereas mine only has the flex. I actually asked Thing to wind it into two balls because you're holding two yarns together in this project. So basically the day one starts in this section here so you have an old yarn and you add the new yarn and when you get to the next section you drop the old yarn and add a new yarn so but for this section I wanted both colors both colored yarns to be from day one but there you have it it's really relatively easy to do I may become a little boring as it gets bigger but I do like it and like all Stephen West patterns I learned something new. I learned to do the I-cord tab cast on. I've done I-cord before but I've never done I-cord tab and I've really enjoyed learning that and I do like this pattern. So I think it's one of his easier patterns and with all the different colours that I have used so far I think it looks pretty good. Now Advent. Some people buy a lot and do more than one um, some people don't like them at all. This is my second year of doing an advent. 
and I can't say I'm a big fan and I'm wondering if it's because it is fingering weight yarn and I or four ply yarn I am an eight ply DK girl I really like it and it's probably why I like this pattern because by holding two together I get a DK weight um, I have difficulty picking a pattern without knowing what colors I'm going to have and maybe that's just a Torian in me I'm very set and systematic in what I do but that's just me do you do advents do you like advents uh, are you doing one and what pattern did you pick let me know in the comments below um, I've lost a bit of YouTube mojo at the moment but hopefully it'll come back soon because I do have some plans for 2024 but I won't be doing daily advent openings because there are so many people doing them I'll just do you an update when I think I've achieved some progress worth looking at. I have my Christmas polar bear stitch marker as a progress keeper there, hanging there. So yes, advents. Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, until next time, stay safe, stay well. And remember, it's only 23 days to Christmas. Bye for now.